Hey guys, this is Tech Hub Dude. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play PlayStation games on your PC. This is going to be kind of a lengthy tutorial, so uh, bear with me. It's really not that difficult. First, you're going to download a program called uh, EPSXE from uh, EPSXE.com. Um, I'll put this link in the description box. You just download the most recent version, which happens to be 1.7.0. Once you download that, it'll come up with this and you just extract all this wherever you desire I extracted it to my documents under emulators under PlayStation 1 um, and there it is right there now the one thing else you're gonna have to download that it doesn't come with is a BIOS file and the name of that BIOS file is scph1001.bin you just google that exact phrase and uh, it'll come up with a bunch of different download sites because uh, you just click share B or whatever and uh, you click rapid share you hit free user or premium and uh, you have to wait some time but uh, once that's done countdown it'll uh, come up with a file that you're going to want to extract or move into the BIOS file as you can see this is uh, where you extracted it to, you're gonna go to BIOS. It'll probably be like a delete me or something file. Just delete that and replace it with um, this BIOS file. Once you do that, that's really all you have to do for this. Um, just run EPX PSXE. You go to file, run CD ROM. Um, right now I have Sheep Raider in my disk drive, so it'll run that. Um, you can hit run ISO as well. I've ripped um, one of my games to my PC. Um, it's the first Spyro. This game's classic. You gotta love the classics, of course. Um, and it'll actually run the game, legit, uh, full game. Uh, it's really uh, smooth. There's not really, I mean, as you can see, there's it's very quick movement. It's not really slow. Whoa. That was loud in my ear. But, um, it runs a full game. You just hit the escape button to uh, exit. You're gonna change disk. Right now I'm running an ISO. You can just switch to your disk drive just like that. Right now I'm hitting exit. So also you can hit run. You can hit save state, slot one. And that's gonna save your state in slot one. And then when you come back, you can hit load state, slot one. Right now, I am right here. That's where I am. I can't move because I don't have my controller connected right now. So, um, yeah. And to configure your controller, you're going to go to gamepad, port 1. Um, well, you can't do it while games in. So, you're going to go to configure, gamepad, port 1, pad 1. And right now mine's configured for a PlayStation 3 controller, which, um, if you're wondering how to do that, I'm going to have a written tutorial on my website because it's really... It's not extremely complicated, but it's hard to make a video about it because you have to restart your computer a couple times. And uh, so, but I'll have a written tutorial on my website and I will post a link to that as soon as that gets done. Um, if you, uh, if it's not working properly, you can configure the BIOS and it should be just, you can browse for it. And then, uh, okay, spazzing. It'll be right there. So, yeah. You can figure gamepad and you can pick and you just click on one of these, you press whichever key. If you don't have a controller, you can pick whatever key you want. Do not press the enter button or do you erase all of them. So you can pick whatever key you want for each individual button. And so yeah, that's all for this tutorial. So uh check out my website for the tutorial on how to play using your PS3 controller. Um Alright, thanks guys, bye.